So today I want to talk a little bit about some lighting setups. Uh, starting off in the beginning, you know, I know gear is important and you need lots of gear and everything like that and probably need a lot less than you actually think you do. But one thing you're going to need is some lighting and I came up with one interesting solution with this these LED bulbs. They connect over Wi-Fi, so they're not necessarily good for going out and using them outside of your studio space or your home, but uh, at home where you have a constant Wi-Fi connection, I think they work great. Um, I'm using it. I pulled out a light that I built probably over 15 years ago. Um, it's simply a, a plastic junction box and a mixing bowl, a metal mixing bowl. And that actually worked good for me for a long time. Uh, when I started off, LEDs weren't around. They weren't a thing. And uh, really, we started out using primarily incandescent bulbs in there. Um, you know, I would put three 100-watt bulbs in this light here. And I would use two of these lights. And then I'd use a single source light as a backlight. And that's what I started off with. But now you have an option with these things. What's, what I like about these is the cheaper ones, I think they're about $30. The colored ones are actually $40 at this time. They're on sale. Um, they say it's temporary, so we'll see if that goes up or not. But the advantage of having these is you can actually adjust the color temperature on these. So... If you were going to set up somewhere and you did have time to set up a Wi-Fi network and everything like that, you could use these, but I don't think they're really practical outside of a studio space. But in the studio space, I think they're great. One of the reasons I think these lights are so great is because there's an app for it. And with that app, you can actually group all your lights into the same grouping. And then you could bring them up as bright as you want all at once or you could go in and you can control the lights individually um, you can go through and change the color temperature on it so there's like past tungsten it's way warmer than tungsten um, you know right there I think I'm white balanced about a tungsten right now so it should be a close to white light maybe a little bit yellowish a little bit orangish and you could go all the way past there to 9,000 Kelvin. So you're looking at really blue light and it really does look blue. Um, you know, if you get into typical daylight colored bulbs, uh, I think they'd be more in this range right here. Uh, it's about 6,000 Kelvin, uh, you know, 5,500 Kelvin in that range. So you really can adjust these lights to suit your needs as far as color goes. And of course, if you get the colored ones, then you can run through and you could do some interesting stuff with that. It also does have some effects that you could use. And this is, this is saying it's flicker and it's showing a little fire mark. So how much it's like fire, I don't know. How many campfire scenes you're going to shoot, I don't know. Um, you know, you could still use the tried and true method of two gels back and forth in front of a light. But like I said, you know, if you already have these, like I said, right now they're on sale, so it's $10 more. So maybe the extra 10 bucks is worth playing around with. But for this, I mean, it's three lights, so it's 30 extra dollars. The real benefit of using a light like this is the fact that, you know, you can con control the light in a group. So, you know, when you're lighting a subject, you can get that light up and down all of the group and if you have multiple lighting set them up in different groups in your studio and then you can control those lights that way and I think it's nice the app is really well built um, and like this light that I have here uh, like I said I built this years ago and that was before they started really having those cheap uh, those cheaper lights that come with the uh, CFL bulbs and at that time, you know, this seemed like a good practical option 
for me, you know, put some little switches there so I can control the lights individually one at a time. Um, but you can get ones that have four bulbs in them. And then if you were to get a setup like that and then use these LEDs like this, and the color reproduction is pretty good on these, um, I wouldn't be worried about using these in a shoot. But, uh, you know, there is some cost there. Um, I know there's some light kits, one on Amazon, it's like a hundred bucks or something like that. It's not too expensive. It's probably not the best build, but at the same time, you know, it's something that, you know, light stands that come with those are probably pretty chintzy and you probably want to put some sandbags on them and they might wobble around, but you figure if it stays put, once you get it set up, then, you know, it's not a big deal. Uh, your lights are a stationary thing, so just don't touch them. Make sure people don't bump into them. Um, you know, it'll probably work out for you. And then you're talking about, you know, well, in that case, I think the ones I saw for 100 bucks, they have four bulbs. So you'd be talking about investing, you know, what is that? Eight, eight times $30. So, I mean, that's $240 in lights if you go there. But I mean, there are some other cheaper options if you don't need the color control. And, uh, you know, a bulb like this puts out close to the same amount of light as these. So here's the two bulbs side by side. Um, let's start with that. Well, the one thing I could do with this is I can actually turn it down a little bit. But uh, I don't know. I mean, if you just see the side of my face about how much light it's putting out. And then if I were to turn that off and turn that on um, you can see this is just a regular LED bulb it's not the life X bulb and it puts out you know a decent amount of light and you could use three of these bulbs and I think this probably cost me eight dollars but uh, you know there's there those light bulbs are constantly going on sale so to sum everything up uh, if you don't have lights I would really consider getting some if you're doing video work, really what you're doing is you're capturing light onto a sensor. If you don't have light, then the sensor has nothing to work with. Uh, if you don't have a lot of money to spend, get a cheaper light kit and upgrade that as you go. And if you have lights now that can take a regular socket, I believe that these are A19 bulbs is what they're called in a regular Edison socket. If you have these types of light fixtures and you want something that will give you a little bit of control remotely, I think these LifeX bulbs are a wonderful little thing. Uh, I've had fun just playing around with them, but you know, in a studio setup, they're very useful. Uh, just being able to change your lighting scenarios inside your studio space. Um, that's all I have for today. And uh, thank you and subscribe. And I hope to see you again. Thank you.